In this video, I'm gonna show you the best 4K export settings in Premiere Pro 2021. Stick around. Tyler here from Video Editing with Tyler White, and if you wanna learn how to edit video like a pro, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna say that I'm completely done editing my project and I'm now ready to export. So the first thing I'm gonna do is grab the playhead and take it to the very beginning of my footage and press I on the keyboard to set an end point. And then I'm gonna to go to the very end of my footage and press O to set an out point. And what this is doing is telling Premiere what section of the timeline you want to export. Then what I'm gonna do is go up to File, Export, Media. And the first thing I'm gonna do is make sure that the format is set to H.264. Don't worry about preset because this is all gonna change here shortly. For output name, I'm just gonna click this button here. And this is gonna be what I wanna name my final project and where I wanna save it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go over here and select where I want the video to be saved. And then I'm just going to name it whatever I want to name it and press save. Then I'm gonna make sure that I check export video and export audio because I need them both to be in the export. Once I've done that, I'll just look over the summary to make sure everything looks correct. And then I'm gonna go down to my basic video settings. For a 4K video, the width needs to be 3840 and the height needs to be 2160. If yours doesn't say this, just uncheck this box here, unlink this button here, and then change it to whatever you need to change it to and just recheck this box then. For frame rate, if you want to change your frame rate, I want my video to export at 23.976, but you can uncheck this box and select whatever frame rate you like. Build order should be set to progressive, aspect should be square pixels 1.0, and then check render at maximum depth. Next are the encoding settings. If you have a computer that can handle it, ideally you wanna use hardware encoding because it's gonna be faster to export. If not, you can just use software encoding. Profile needs to be set to high, and then level needs to be set to 5.2. Then we scroll down to the bitrate settings and the bitrate settings are what's going to determine the overall quality of your video. So what I like to use is CBR, which stands for constant bitrate, and I'll change that to about 90. And as you may have noticed, the estimated file size has increased significantly. So you can kind of play around with this number. It doesn't have to be 90. You can drop it a little bit lower, but for me, I prefer to use 90 at CBR. Now, if I'm not uploading this video to YouTube and I'm just gonna give it to a client, like on a disc or something like that, what I'll do is I'll change this to VBR one pass. VBR stands for variable bit rate. And I'm just gonna change the target bit rate down to 50. And notice that that dropped the estimated file size down significantly. But typically, if I'm going to upload anything to the internet at all, I'm just going to change it to CBR and change that to about 90 to counter any compression that's going to happen whenever you upload that video. Then you want to just make sure that you check use maximum render quality. And that's it for the video. Now I'm going to go over to the audio tab, make sure that the audio format is set to AAC. Audio codec should be set to AAC as well. Sample rate should be at 48,000 hertz. Channels set to stereo. Audio quality set to high. And the bit rate set to 320. And then make sure that the precedence is set to bit rate. Once I've done that, I'm gonna go up here to where it says preset and notice it should have changed to custom. I'm just gonna go over here and click save preset. I'm gonna name this preset what I want it to be so that I don't have to go through all these same settings every single time. And then just press okay. Once that's complete, go down to where it says export and that's it. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Edit like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video. If you're still here, go ahead and check out my newest LUT pack. The link's gonna be down in the description.